612 here on our Tuesday morning. Welcome back everybody as our third first alert weather day continues. We had Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and now today as icy and dangerous travel conditions uh, continue for nearly all of today. We can expect poor travel conditions. We have icy roads. We have wet roads. We have slushy roads. We have travel alerts in effect. Portion of I-29 Grand Forks to the Canadian border is closed. Biggest thing this morning, slow down. Here's a few ice reports that have come in. Now these are since last night, so likely some places seeing a bit more to these, but a half an inch of ice reported in Fargo last night. Four tenths of an inch in Moorhead, Rustad and Wapaton picking up a quarter inch of ice accumulation in Montpelier. That is in Stutzman County, a tenth of an inch of ice. Ice storm warning continues for all of these darker purple shaded areas until 6 p.m. tonight. Meanwhile, winter weather advisories continue in the lighter shade of purple until 6 p.m. as well. Winter storm warnings and blizzard warnings down to the south and west with heavier snow and very strong winds. Within the last 30 or so minutes, there was a gust to 72 miles per hour in Rapid City. We're not seeing gusts that strong here locally, but it is a gusty one. Rain across the Southern Valley and much of West Central Minnesota, including Lakes Country all the way out towards Brainerd and Duluth. Meanwhile, up to the north and out west for much of eastern North Dakota, we're seeing freezing rain and some areas of light snow as well. That changeover happens uh, as you approach Valley City, so probably about Towner City or Tower City rather, maybe even Castleton, We're starting to see that change from rain to some freezing rain. I-94 slick heading westbound towards Jamestown. Edgley, Jamestown, Ellendale uh, reporting some snow at this time, bit of wintry mix as well. Northern Valley, New Folden, Thief River, Grand Forks down through Mayville, that is all freezing rain and here in Fargo right now we're just seeing liquid rain. However, on the bridges, the Red River Bridge, the tri level bridges likely to be a little slicker because most roads uh, heat and cool evenly thanks to the insulation from the soil, the ground underneath. But with bridges, cold air comes underneath and cools the bridges a lot faster and as a result, ices them up a lot quicker. So take things slow this morning. That is the biggest thing I can say for you. If you absolutely have to travel, give yourself extra time and extra stopping distance, extra space between you and the vehicle ahead of you, extra everything this morning. And of course, it's always a good idea to keep that winter survival kit, that safety kit in your vehicle in case you do end up sliding off the road. As for air travel, the next 12 hours still expecting impacts across the area, a moderate to even some major impacts through South Dakota where we've got those blizzard warnings, the very strong winds. It will be breezy through the rest of the day here, expecting rain and freezing rain to continue about where they are right now with that transition line right about there from Thief River down towards Lisbon. Then later on this afternoon and evening, a little bit of a transition from rain into light snow. Not a lot of that is going to stick though. As for ice accumulation, this is additional ice, a half an inch or a quarter of an inch to a half an inch in the darker pink areas, the light pink, a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. Additional snowfall, not going to be a lot, around a trace to an inch, but isolated places could see up to two inches of snow and liquid moisture. Check out the Southern Valley, a half an inch to an inch of rain isolated more still not out of the question. Temperatures this afternoon similar to where they are now much quieter. Thankfully, guys, as we wrap out the end of the month, the end of the year and kickstart 2024 crazy. Yes, Mother Nature really came back in this week, huh? I don't know. She's out for a vengeance, I guess, just after the holiday. Yeah, we had it too easy leading up to this. Huh? I know. Yeah, just take it easy. Please be safe today. Yeah, and I did still see some raindrops coming down on my drive in this morning. I'm yeah. Not yeah. Sure. yeah. Yes. So it's still happening. I saw it even coming from the trees, just yep. big Pieces wafting of over. Ice falling <laughs> off the power yeah. lines, too. So be cautious of that. A little yeah. surprise hazard. I had to hit my car with my. <laughs> my ice scraper a few yeah. times to even crack it Oof. to get it moving. Yeah, this is your Crazy. call to action. If you need to leave, start your car right now. Yes, yes. everybody. Yes. Wow. All right. Thank you, Summer, for the updates.